Hello! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. Um, for the for the main part, for the tarot part, I'm going to use the Astro Matrix tarot. The website on the back here, there's verbiage there, but the website's at the bottom, astromatrix.org, I believe. They're there at the bottom. Um, there's also the artists, the creator, and the QR code. Uh, thank you for the people who put that in the comments <laughs> last week because I could not remember the name of that but here's the QR code for this one if you're interested the oracle cards you are clairvoyant oracle cards by Belinda Grace illustrations by Elaine Marzen website rockpoolpublishing.com.au A as an apple, U as an umbrella and I also use dice um, I use a 21 sided for the major arcana which does omit zero but I make it work. I believe it came from this place, uh, the dice shop. And if I can get it close enough, you can see mathartstuff.com. Math art, no, math art, math art, fun.com. Hopefully you can see that if you're interested. The smaller dice, I have a 14-sided dice that I use for the minor arcana. And I use a four-sided dice to choose the suit. Um, that's from here, Tom Anders. There is some information there. Hopefully I can get it close enough so it'll focus and you can see it if you're interested. I want to say there's like a website there, but I can't see it. This one also has a QR code. Here's the QR code for that one, if I can hold it still. All right, that's what we have for the materials. Um, of course, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email. James for astral at gmail.com. That's James the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Hello, Virgo. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Virgo? This looks good so far. Very precise with the cards. So, hmm. I feel like they're saying don't be content. Make sure you get what you actually want. Okay. Don't be content. Make sure you get what you actually want. This card is showing up, but it's very peculiar to me. I think it's showing up in a very good way. It is the tower card, and um, clearly it does not look like it's a fun moment on that, car, on that tower card. Um, I think there's something coming your way that you're totally not expecting. And I feel like when it first shows up, you're like, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, you've put in a lot of effort into something. There's been a lot of effort into something. And you are pretty stable with how you feel about things. Pretty stable. Things are where they should be. Things are where they're going to be. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more detail because it's like you have a stable, stable standing with this. Um, eight of Pentacles. You've put in the work. But even though you have a stable standing, this is kind of more of a free agent card, in my opinion. Whatever this situation is, I don't feel like I'm tied to it. Um, I feel like I've stabilized it. It's what I want it to be. But I don't feel like I, I'm, I don't feel like I can't go. I don't feel like I'm completely locked in. I feel like I'm here because I want to be here. But if I change my mind, I feel like I could leave fairly easily. Okay, that's interesting. Um, am I missing it? Am I missing something? Because I'm getting, like, communication coming your way, but, like, there's not much I can do with it. Or I'm feeling like maybe there's something... I feel like there's communication coming my way, but I can't do anything with it. Communication coming your way, but I can't do anything with it. Okay. Which may prove it may be true in the moment but it may tr prove all otherwise in the near future because you got good things coming but 
Where's it going? So you do have the possibility to make something happen, and it's kind of like seeing the possibility in front of you. You got the Five of Swords kind of falling out of favor, which the Five of Swords right side up to me is the fruitless win. When it falls out of favor, that means, you know what, I didn't think that was actually going to do anything. I didn't think anything was actually going to work for my advantage here. But as we keep going down the road, prosperity and gratitude is coming in. Um, there's an opportunity, there's something showing up, but when you first see it, you're like, I don't really know if there's anything I can do with that. I don't see anything happening today with that or the next couple weeks. And I'm not even really sure if I want it. Even if I want it, what would I? how would I make it happen? But if you give it a chance and kind of research it a little deeper, you might find that there's an opportunity here. So like, how are you supposed to know? There's something going on and I feel like other people are talking about it. But to you, it's like, I, I don't know about that. Like, I don't really think that could work. At least not right now. Um, the thing is, if you, if you take that information and you look a little deeper into it, you might find otherwise. The thing is, I can also see like, yeah, but I'm not going to waste my time looking into information that I don't think is going to serve me. So it's kind of like, I think that's what's holding this back. If this reading hits, it's basically saying, give it a little bit more information. Give it a little bit more time. Give it a, more of a chance. You don't have to go crazy and like do a deep, deep dive, but like start looking into it just a little bit. But I'm, I'm trying to get to the point, like, why would you though? Like if you're thinking, I don't think that's going to do anything for me. I feel like that's kind of far-fetched for a Virgo to look into it. A little more details if we can. Um, it's more about like still feeling like you have this free agent energy and it's kind of like, you know, the, the Ace of Wands came in upside down and then the, the Hierophant came in upside down. It's kind of like, even though this is here, I'm not feeling it's for me. Something like that. It's not that you wouldn't want it, but it's kind of like, I feel like they're saying if you can just make that next step forward and just look into it a little bit more, just look into it, you're either going to look into it or you're not at this point is what I'm getting. <laughs> you either are or you're not. Because as it gets closer, as you see it getting a little bit closer to you, it's kind of like at this point, it's like, say it's like at 500 yards, just for the argument's sake, it's way out there. It's kind of like I see basically what it is, but I'm not really seeing how that's going to do anything for me. Hopefully if this reading hits right, if I'm saying it the right way, it can inspire you to just kind of like, well, you know, let me just get a better idea of what it is, just so at least I know how to deal with it if other people deal with it, or if somebody else chooses it, or if it gets closer. Let me have a better look at it before it gets closer. I feel like this is like you getting ahead of the game. At the very least, if you see it more, if you see it in more detail before other people do, you can make better decisions with it. Because there's this Ace of Cups coming your way. And there's, there's the need to make, get more information. Even as it gets closer, I feel like you're going to actually like it when it gets closer, but it's kind of like you're evolving from like, oh, I don't think that's going to do anything for me. And then it gets closer, like, you know, actually, I like that. I wish it could. But the thing is, accepting it at face value isn't working. Um... Accepting it at base value. This, ironically, I feel like this is what it's saying. Don't just see it and go, okay, yeah, that's cool. Maybe I will look a little bit deeper into it. But it's something about accepting it at face value doesn't work. They want you to kind of, this is what they want you to do. Like, go a little deeper and find out, like, what is this about? Which, Virgo tends to research things. So I'm kind of curious. It's something about time restraints. Don't take somebody else's word for it. Be careful you got to find out for yourself. you got to see it with your own two eyes, hear it for your, with your own ears, touch it with your own hands. That's what this is. Okay, so, okay, 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 okay. Um, the closer it gets, I feel like other people are telling you, hey, Virgo, this is pretty cool, and you like that, and this fits you, and this, and it has that, and it has this. Not that that information is wrong, but if you feel it, see it, touch it with your own hands, you know, hear it with your own ears right there, you're going to see what you actually want from it. You're going to be able to see where this can actually go that you really do want. If you're taking somebody else's lead on this, it's not hitting right. They're like, discern it a little deeper. Go through it and like, 
figure it out yourself. Get in there yourself. You know, get deep into it yourself and find out once you see what it is. I feel like what they're saying is you got to get in there and look at it for yourself. It's kind of like somebody saying, you know, this store over there only has this, that, and the other thing. And I know you could get this. You could probably order online and they'd ship it to you. And you're thinking, okay, I'll order it online and they'll ship it to me. I'm getting no. You need to go to that store yourself and see what's in there because there's a lot of other things you actually would want more than what you're being told. And it's kind of like, it's almost like, you know, there's things that, that are in store that are not online or you wouldn't normally see unless you were you knew to look for it. Because I'm thinking of these websites where they like categorize things out. And if you're not even thinking that could be there, you wouldn't even go check that category, if you know what I mean. Um, it's kind of like, you know, um, certain items. Like I'm thinking like certain places have like, you know, seasonal items or something like that and like if you're if you're not thinking there's anything there that you would even be interested in you won't even click on the tab let alone go a little bit deeper into it you have to go yourself you have to go yourself if you want this to work to your advantage um there are people here trying to help you that are good people i'm not questioning that but like you can't do what they think you want what they think you need what they think will you'll value it's not that you won't value what they think. It's just the bigger things, like you might not have shared with them what you actually want. There's certain things about you they just don't know. You know what I mean? And unless you're seeing it yourself, you're not going it, to, it's just not going to come your way. I don't know how to explain it other way, other than that. People don't know you as well as you know you. You know what I mean? Um, if you come into the energy, you know, if you move forward in that, I do feel like there'll be a little bit of stress to like go through the whole situation. It's kind of like if we're going to use that store situation, for example, maybe it's a mile, uh, not a mile, maybe it's an hour away and you're like, yeah, that's an hour away. What else is there? You can make it worth your while, you know, get some friends together. If there's a restaurant out that way, you know, plan to go to a restaurant and while going to that restaurant, stop over at that store and see what it is. See what it's like for yourself. See what it's like and find other people who might be also interested. I don't feel like this is something where it's like first come, first serve. I feel like it's just what you're going to find there is unique to you. So I don't think it's like, you know, I have to block it from other people. I don't think there's anything like that there. Um, but I'm getting like accept it. Go for it. Create a plan that works for you. Go and see it for yourself. If you do that, there's opportunities here. Um, I'm noticing both of these... Um, cards have pictures of somebody holding something in their hand. There's something that you want there. There is definitely something that you want there, and it seems to make a big deal. It seems to make a big difference to you. Um, but you have to, like, whatever this... And I know I'm using the store analogy, but, like, for whatever it is, for example, maybe it's, like, looking into another company and seeing what they have to offer. Um, maybe it's looking into, I don't know, RVs or cars and it's like going to that lot yourself and seeing what they actually have there so you can find of what's to value for you. Um, something like that where you need to go yourself so you can see it firsthand. If you do that yourself, you have a better chance of really seeing what you want and then getting that value that you're looking for because I'm getting, you're getting the value that you want. Other people don't know what you want. Um, like they kind of do, they have an idea, but they don't know the details. They aren't you. Um, there's just certain things about you that not everybody knows and you have to be there in person uh, to, to really pick out what looks good to you. Maybe something that you didn't think you'd have a chance for or you know, you thought was maybe out of your price range if we're going to use the car analogy. And then you go, you show up and you're like, well, actually this one is in my price range. Um, this one might work for me or whatever. Um, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it's closer to what I would really like than people thought. So I'll go with it. Is there anything else? So I feel like this is mostly about, you know, seeing it yourself so that you can decide for yourself. It's not like anybody's trying to like hold anything from you. I think I need to say that again too, because it, it's just you getting what you want, you seeing what you want. It's not that hard for you. The nine, the nine is the hermit card. That's your card. Um, it's going to feel like it's not really a lot of work for you, by the way, to do this. Once you get to the goal, it's not a lot of work for you. But Virgos are workers. So for you, it's, I feel like for you, this is easy. You're going to put in the effort. You're going to make it happen. For you, it's easy. Other people might think it's a lot more um, a lot more taxing than you will because I feel like this is something you're used to. So if there's like paperwork or 
a little bit of traveling or something like that. Other people might be like, oh, that's a bit. That's a lot. And to you, it's like, no, it's not that big a deal. I don't mind it. Um, anything else? All right. I think we're there. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.